Good morning, everybody. So today I want to start showing you how to make an anemone. So we're going to look at how to make the armature for it and how to cover that in the clay. So the first thing is, is you want to get a piece of tin foil. Um, it's going to be fairly small unless you're making a really giant uh, sea anemone. And you're just going to kind of lightly crumple it. The reason why we're gonna just lightly crumple it instead of crumpling it real tight is because we wanna be able to make it shape to the spot that we want it. So like this one here isn't just a tube anymore, like it's got this little curvy part over here and I kinda made a little dippy flat part right there so that it would fit really good. So if we start with a loose crumple, then we're gonna be able to get that shape. Um, and if we start with a tight crumple, then we can't really adjust, okay? So like for me, I wanted my little cinnamon anemone right there. So I'm gonna take my light crumple and I'm gonna push it against my clay and kind of squish down around the edges. That starts making that shape right there. And since we didn't start with a really tight pack, we can push it and mold it to the shape that we want. So I've got that shape on the bottom that I want. And like I said, you could do it anywhere you wanted. So it depends on where you put it, what shape it's gonna end up being. And then on whatever is gonna be kind of the top side, I kind of push my thumb in and pull up with my fingers just to kind of make a little, little ridge right here. And then once I have the basic shape, then I can kind of make sure I squeeze everything in there real good, okay? So both of these would work just fine. This one's a little bit bigger, this one's a little bit smaller, but either one would work fine. Since I already rolled out my clay, I think I'm gonna use this first one that I made, but it, like I said, it's just same process. Okay, so now I already rolled out my slab. It's one tongue depressor thick, so remember tongue depressor on each side, roll it out. Um, and while it's still conditioned, I'm just gonna start on the part that's gonna be my top, and I'm just gonna kind of push the clay around the side, right? Now, there's gonna be a couple spots where it makes these little loopy things. So when that happens, I'm gonna use my needle tool, and I'm just gonna slice, do do do. I'm gonna slice through it so I can lay it down flat. And then if I have a ton of overlap, I can trim a little of the extra off and then blend it, right? And if I get a little bit on the bottom, that's totally fine. If I don't get a little bit on the bottom, that's totally fine too. But I had another fold over here, so I'm just gonna cut it, fold it down, and just keep doing that as many times as you need till the whole thing is covered. And then just spend a little bit of time kind of smoothing it out. And all these little extra bits and stuff, keep those in case you need them, right? Because we want to make sure that we get the whole thing covered. So like right here, I have a little spot missing, but I have a little extra bit of clay so I can just stick it on there. Okay, now make sure all the tin foil is covered in the parts that you're gonna see. If it doesn't fully cover the, the very bottom, that's okay. If you have some little areas where some of the clay is poking out, depending on where it is, it's gonna be fine. Like mine's right there on this top lip, that's gonna be fine because I'm gonna cover it up with my little you know, tentacle looking things. So it's not a big deal. So I just wanna spend some time smoothing and making sure that this is really nice and evenly made. So I'm I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on this off camera, but pretend I spent some more time smoothing. Now, before we finish the base, there's actually a lot of texture and there's another little piece that kind of goes on the inside. So I'm gonna use my uh, tongue depressor and I'm gonna make some of the texture. So there's just a bunch of little lines. Um, they kind of look like coils that have been added on but I'm gonna do it with my tongue depressor and make them that way. So I started by going all the way across and I made you know, a plus and then I divided that up with another plus. Now I'm just gonna kinda 
use the end of the tongue depressor to kind of just keep adding stuff in okay so it makes this little pattern on there now that i have that i since i'm going to use this bright pink and then i'm using that purple i mix just a little bit of it to make this little inside piece that i'm going to do but there's like a little donut uh which is like the the little mouth of the sea anemone um so i just made a an in-between color that's gonna become the little mouth of my donut so or my sea anemone. anemone okay so I made a little coil and now I'm making it into just a little donut and then once I have my donut because the the sea anemone ones all kind of a little bit wrinkly and stuff anyway so I'm just setting it on the inside and then I can either use that tool actually I'm just gonna use the tool that I made the other day or I could use the end of a paintbrush or something like that. But I'm just going to kind of push it down in the middle. And then I'm going to kind of squish it just a little bit just to add it in. So that's how you make the base of your sea anemone. Once you have this part completed and you have all the sides all nice and smooth and everything. And you've checked to make sure that it fits good. Um, the next step is going to be to add on these little things. And I'll make a separate video for that. All right, thanks everybody.